let's look at graph transformations. For example, let's sketch y equal to the square root of x plus 2 plus 1 by using graph transformations. Now, there are different types of graph transformations. There are transformations that we call translations, which are rigid movements of graphs. And then there's also transformations called stretching, shrinking, and reflecting, which aren't rigid movements of graphs. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the translations or rigid movements of graphs. And we have the following. That if f is a function and a and b are positive real numbers, then to obtain the graph of f of x minus a, we shift the graph of f to the right a units. And to obtain the graph of y equal f of x plus a, we shift the graph of f to the left a units. But to obtain the graph of f of x plus b, we shift the graph of f up b units. And to obtain the graph of y equal f of x minus b, we shift the graph of f down b units. So to sketch graphs using graph transformations, or these translations here, what we do is we start with what's called a base function. And looking here, we can start by sketching y equal to the square root of x. So let's say that this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. The square root of x looks like this where this is the origin, 0, 0. What are some other points on this graph? Well, we know when x is equal to 1, that y will also be equal to 1, which means we know we have the point 1, 1 on our graph. Now, what other point lies on our graph? Well, we wouldn't want to put, for example, x equal to 2 in here, because then the y value would be square root of 2. So what's the next x value that we know the square root of after 1 here? Well, that would be 4, wouldn't it? Because we know that the square root of 4 is 2. So that's another point we have in our graph. So this is 4. Then this is 2 here. So this is the point 4, 2. All right, so what does this plus 2 here do under the square root to this graph? Well, looking down here, we're in the second case, aren't we? We are adding a positive number to the x value within the function, which means we're going to shift this graph to the left a units, or in this case, two units. So we're going to shift this graph two units to the left. When we do that, what's going to happen to this point here, 0, 0? The y-coordinate is not going to change, but the x-coordinate is going to have 2 subtracted from it, which means it's going to get translated to the point negative 2, 0. And what about this point here, 1, 1? This is going to go to 1 minus 2, 1, or negative 1, 1. And what about this point here? This is going to go to 4 minus 2, 2, or 2, 2. All right, so let's sketch y is equal to the square root of x plus 2. So let's say this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. So we just found that the origin, that point zero, 0, was moving to negative 2, 0. So we have that point on our graph here, negative 2, 0. We also found that the point 1, 1 was moving to negative 1, 1. So we also have that point on our graph, negative 1, 1. And then we found that the point 4, 2 was moving to 2, 2. So we also have that point on our graph, 2, 2.
So this shape is exactly the same. It's just moved two units to the left. All right, and looking back up here, what does this plus one do to this second graph here? Well, we're in this third case down here. We are now adding a positive number to the y value here on the second graph, which means we shift this second graph upward. B units or upward one unit. So when we do that, what happens to this point here, negative two, zero? This point, negative two, zero, goes to negative two, zero plus one, or one. And what about this point here, negative one, one? This point, negative one, one, is going to go to negative one, and then one plus one, or two. And this last point, two, two, is going to go to two, and then two plus one, or three. That is, we have the following graph of y is equal to the square root of x plus two plus one. So here is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. The point negative two, zero is moving to negative two, one. So it's here, negative two, one. And the point negative one, one is moving to negative one, two. So here is the point negative one, two. And finally, the point two, two is moving to two, three. So here's the point two, three. So our graph will look like this. Notice that we're just rigidly moving to the left and then up. All right, let's look at another example. Let's sketch this graph here using graph transformations. Again, we're going to just use translations here in this lesson. So looking at our function up here, what is our base function? It is y is equal to the absolute value of x. So let's sketch this. So let's say this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. The absolute value looks like this. We have the point zero, zero on our graph as well as 1, 1, and negative 1, 1. So looking back up here, what does this minus 3 do to this graph here? Well, we're in this first case here, aren't we? We are subtracting a positive number from the x-coordinate inside the function which means we're going to shift this graph to the right A units or three units. So what's going to happen to this point zero, zero? It's going to get moved to zero plus three or three, zero. In this point, what's going to happen to this point? One, one. It's going to move to one plus three or four, one. And what about this point, negative 1, 1? It's going to move to negative 1 plus 3, or 2, 1. That is, we have the following graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 3. We have the y-axis here, and the x-axis. So 0, 0 is moving to 3, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 0. And 1, 1 is moving to 4, 1. So here's 4, 1. And negative 1, 1 is moving to 2, 1. So here is 2, 1. So this graph looks like this. All right, and finally, what does this negative 2 do to the second graph here? 
Well, we're down in this last case here, aren't we? We are subtracting a positive number from the y value, which means we're going to shift the second graph downward by b units or by 2 units. So we shift this down 2 units. When we do that, what is going to happen to the point 3, 0? This is going to go to 3 and then 0 minus 2 or negative 2. And what about this point, 4, 1? It's going to get shifted to 4 and then 1 minus 2 or negative 1. And what about this point, 2, 1? It's going to get shifted to 2 and then 1 minus 2 or negative 1. That is the graph we're looking for, or y is equal to absolute value x minus 3 minus 2, looks like this. So here's the y-axis, and here's the x-axis. So the point 3, 0 was moved to 3, negative 2. So we have this point here on our graph, 3, negative 2. And the point 4, 1 was moved to 4, negative 1. So we also have this point here on our graph, 4, negative 1. And the point 2, 1 was moved to 2, negative 1. So we also have this point here, 2, negative 1 on our graph. So our graph looks like this. So our graph is being transformed by rigid translations in both these examples. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.